What is up, y'all? How are you guys doing today? Right now, it is windy. It is chilly. We're out here. We're, we're going to be trying something pretty interesting. So, a while ago, like, I'm talking months ago, I was searching Amazon. I was just like, yo, like, what's, what's good? I came across something. I was just like, yo, what is that? Pretty much, I saw this thing on Amazon. I bought it, and I, I kind of, like, forgot I had it. Yesterday, I was just searching through my drawers, and I was like, yo. So, today, I figured I'd whip it out and show you guys. This is it right here. Now, I, I can't read any of that. Figure, you know, I'm going to whip this thing out. We're going to try to catch some fish on this right here. Once I open it, you guys are going to be like, what the heck? So, pretty much, you know, it just looks like a normal box. Alright, and hello. So I have no clue what the heck this thing is called, but basically as you guys can see there's like a plastic I don't know, like a balloon thing you could call it. But then you can see it's got all this line going down. I, I don't know how to explain it. Like a little umbrella rig going down to all these hooks. The plastic in the middle, like low-key, looks kind of cheapish. I don't know, man. What do you guys think? Have you guys ever seen anything like that before, man? Whew, so pretty much today, that is kind of going to be like my goal here, like the beginning of the day. I spent money on this thing. I don't remember how much it was, but we're going to try to catch a freaking fish on this, man. It's middle of winter. It's windy. It's cold. I don't know if this is actually going to work or not, but let me show you guys like kind of what we're going to be doing here. All right, y'all. So this is kind of like what we got going on here. This thing looks absolutely ridiculous. There's somebody else fishing here, so I know they're looking at it. They're like, yo, what in the... I wish I had worms, but we do have these little uh, meal worms here. These hooks are going to be a little big, probably for what we're going to be... I don't know. Hey, I mean, like I said, man, I spent money on this. So I just want to catch, you know, like at least one fish. I've not been like, you know, having the best luck these past couple days, but I think this, uh, this rig here is going to change it. This might be the lucky rig, man. We got some worms down there. I'm going to cast this thing out. This is freaking stupid, man. Just like, look what we're using here. I'm hoping that that plastic thing is going to kind of float. Oh, it does. But I don't think it's down... All right, that's that's gonna be the issue, man. I mean, it's almost like you have to cast into really, really shallow water. This is this is not. I mean, this it, it's literally an inch under. I thought maybe I don't know actually what I was thinking about that. Uh, all right, this thing's looking even weirder. So I just untied this like little plastic knot thing so that hangs down a little bit. I just I don't I don't know about this product at this uh, specific time. Oh, dude, it's actually sinking. The plastic is sinking now. What is that supposed to happen? I mean, that's a good thing though. I'm gonna cast that like over here, bro. I have got no clue what's going on. Wait, now it's not sinking. What in the... I'm gonna like play around with this for however long it takes me to hopefully catch a fish. Probably like an hour later, I walked all around this place. I tried, dude, I tried. Look look at this. This is a freaking waste of money, man. Let me know if I'm like doing something wrong here. All right, so that is a great start to the day. Since I'm here, I'm actually gonna switch to my other rod, try to catch some fish out of here. I know there's been reports like yellow perch, Maybe a little white perch. Yeah, while we're here, I mean, I'm gonna try to catch some fish. Tip that with some waxies. Let's just get on the board, man. Oh my gosh, finally. That, dude, what else would it be? I mean, honestly, what, what else, what else do we catch here? Ah, all right, y'all. Little bluegill, send him back here. Come on, man, there's gotta be something else down there. Oh, dang it. Freaking yoinked it on him, dude. Come on, first stake, get your head in the game. Right there in the spot. Right away. Oh, there we go. Oh. Would you look at that? You know, I don't know if I've ever caught this fish before. Nice little look at him. Let's let him go right there. Now, I, I just have to say something about bluegill real quick. Why is it that people love to catch bluegill, you know, through the ice? Like, like that's cool to catch bluegill through the ice. Why is winter fishing for bluegill in open water, you know, not cool? I don't know. I think we need to start a petition here, man. Justice for bluegill. There you go. That's a big chunky fatty right there. That's the biggest one of the day so far. Oh, there's a different species of fish. Oh my god. I literally caught 30 bluegill until this guy right here. That is freaking beautiful, man. Wow. I, I mean, as I said, I've been catching so many bluegill. A pumpkin seed? Man, that is such a good feeling. After catching so many freaking normal bluegill. Now, when I say I literally caught like 30 bluegill, I'm not joking. I've been sitting here pulling them out one by one by one. Kind of playing the odds, you know? You catch so many fish. There's got to be like something else down there. I think it's a little thick. That felt good. Look at, look at this. Just casting it back in. What do we have? What do you know, man? It's one thing about these sunfish, man. When you get them fired up, they're they're, they're fired up. I mean, I got a full smorgasbord down there, man. Not even bluegill buffet anymore. We just I, I don't even know it. Oh my gosh, there we go. Ooh, that's a nicer bluegill, man. You see, this is uh, kind of what I've been pulling out. Give me that worm back, boy. All right, so as y'all can see, man, I came back to the crib. It's just 
It's not one of those days. I mean, I guess the past couple of days have not just been one of those days. It's been, it's been super windy here in Delaware. Like I'm talking 20, 30 mile per hour winds. If you follow me on Instagram, you know, like, I was trying to fish on this log the other day. I almost got blown off. But yeah, I'm sure you guys are tired of me after the last video caught some bluegills. I'm sure you guys don't want to see any more bluegills. I don't know. I mean, I caught a bunch of fish. Cannot complain about that. But we're going to be sending it back here. I actually have some footage on uh, one of my SD cards from Florida, the trip I took in January that I, I was there for a while. So, let me send you guys back, man. Out of cold freaking Delaware. <sighs> Here's to the bluegill. What is up, y'all? How are you guys doing today? It is freaking hot out here. We finally made the drive down three hours. We're around like the Fort Lauderdale sort of area, I think. Right now we are at a canal and this is a uh, this is actually a kind of famous fishing spot. A lot of other YouTubers have fished here before. This is just like one of those really cool spots in Florida where every kind of species, I, I mean, everything's in here. Largemouth bass, peacock, snook, I mean, cichlids. Just crazy stuff too. If you guys don't know, Florida is notorious for like people releasing their exotic pets like into these canals and they could just travel along. I just stopped at the bait and tackle shop. We have some live shiners back there. We're just gonna be putting those live shiners on a hook, chucking them out there. Hopefully we can catch some stuff that we've never caught before. Hopefully we can catch a fish. I don't really know. Never really done this before, never been here. Hopefully this works. Oh yeah, also gar are in here too. I've never caught a gar. I'll be so excited if we get at least one of those here. Here is the bait. We got some shiners down there. This is actually a new rod set. You guys have not seen this yet. All right, let me stop talking to you. I'm so freaking excited, man. I just drove down here right away. We came here. I'm gonna be staying down south here for a couple days, but yeah, man, let me stop talking. Let's hopefully catch some fish. Let me grab one of these guys right there. Hook him right through the back fin. Let's get down here. I'm just gonna chuck him out there. Dude, I'm freaking so excited for this, man. Really? That one's a lot better? I fish a lot, trust me. Oh, yeah? And I live out here. Go down there. I'm on the homeless guy's boot guy. He's in the water in the bridge. That bridge there. You go in between that. Yeah. Put that, that shine you got right there, I guarantee you'll catch one in five minutes after you get there. I haven't hooked one yet. I've got him. Yeah. I haven't hooked one yet. Oh man, All right, I'm not gonna lie. At first, those guys sketched me out there, kind of like walking towards my camera. I was like, uh. But they seem really nice. They said the fish are down that way, not here. So I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna leave the shiner in for a little bit longer here. I got a fish. What the heck is that? Oh my God, what is that? Holy freaking crap. Oh no, what is that? Wait, what? That is not, oh my gosh. All right, first fish of the day. I did not even think I had anything on there. Come here, buddy. Oh my gosh, on the shiner. All right, come here, buddy. Oh, dude. Oh. What the heck is this thing? I'm not exactly sure what this thing is. Either way, man, destroyed the shiner. I'm gonna go ahead, let that guy go. First fish out here at the canal. It's definitely dirty, but he'll be all right. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna let him go. I have no freaking clue what the heck. Oh gosh, came back up to the shore. All right, there he goes. Whoo, dude, I literally thought I was snagged on the bottom. I had no, I had no clue what just happened. So I talked to my friend Leo from Extreme Philly Fish. And, you know, he's like the species master. So I was like, yo, what the heck did I just catch? He said, it's a, I think he said it was a brown bullhead, which I mean, I've caught brown bullhead before up north. He said they look different in the south, I guess. He also said it could be a spotted bullhead, but pretty sure it is a brown. Uh, can I get some more shines? Uh, like two and a half. There's a fish, there's a fish. Let's go, what do we have here? Oh my gosh. Whew. Dude, oh my gosh. Guys, you do not even know how long I've been out here. There we go, second fish of the day, I think. Yeah, that's second, dude, it's been forever. Since we freaking caught the first one, there's a little largemouth bass right there, just slammed a shiner. He's a little dirty, I'm gonna let him go right down there. Oh my God. Basically, I came over here with a bunch of live shiners. I'm kind of like, my, my numbers are down right now. I had like over two dozen, I think. So as I said, I've been fishing here for a while. Pretty much I fished here, I fished behind me, I walked down that way. It's been freaking hours, dude. 
finally we got on a fish unfortunately it's not the peacock bass that i was after but it was a largemouth bass i mean either way i'll still take it i have seen some insane fish as i've been walking along these canals i mean it's so clear you can see right through it i saw one i have no freaking clue what it was it looked like an eel and it was kind of like white stripe on it I, I have no clue what it was all right now that's pretty much it for like the whole florida fishing and you know delaware fishing it, it, too many bluegills smoke was actually like informed me after i was fishing that place for hours the canal and then the other spot apparently it is just not that good at fishing there in january if i came back a few months later like if i came back now or like a month later which i think i might have to do apparently i'll just slay fish all day so that is the thing man that might have to happen but yeah guys overall back to like the whole title and a thumbnail and the whole delaware fishing thing Dude, that freaking thing I bought off Amazon, like what, what is that? Can somebody please explain to me like what is the point of that little fishing rig? Like I thought that you could lower the hooks. Like I thought that was a thing. That's kind of why I bought it. I was like, yo, that's kind of cool because then you could have all this bait down there at like, you know, not one inch under the water. Overall, man, I'm just so excited for like these next couple months and just this whole year in general. Like I know last year I was like, yo, this is going to be our year. But this year, so many opportunities and so much cool stuff is going to happen this year that it's like, I, I don't know, like right now at the beginning of this video, you're seeing Blue Go, right? But just once you see what we're going to get into this year, this is really cool stuff. You know, you guys get to see me evolve in the fishing and other, I, I don't, I don't want to give too much stuff away right now, but I just cannot thank you guys enough for all the support. You know, like this is truly my passion is outdoors fishing. And then also, you know, creating art, creating videos. This is as realistic as it gets. You know, I'm not a professional fisherman. You guys are watching me evolve in my fishing skills, whatever of those I have. You see me branch out, go for new species, try new fish and catching now i'm not guided every video you know i'm not traveling the world catching giant fish with all these guides i'm just doing me you know and i appreciate that you guys support that i know i haven't been uploading the most videos but i mean i think the last five or six days i've been out like and that's pretty much every day since my last video you know it just doesn't doesn't always work failed sessions though kind of have turned into a blessing in disguise you guys will see like in a couple months, you guys will see what exactly I'm talking about. You guys, man, I'm hoping I'm gonna make a lot of you guys proud. Now, if you guys did enjoy this video, man, please go down there, hit that thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot to me. And if you are not ready, and if you do enjoy my videos, make sure you go down there, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell after you hit that subscribe button. So you always get notified if you wanna see every time I upload. If you wanna stay the most up to date with me as possible, go follow me on Instagram. I upload stories on Instagram every time I upload a video. And I've been trying, man, I've been trying to post as many stories as I can. From here on out, at least for a little while, we're gonna chill with the bluegill as i said i know last video i called bluegill and this video i called it we're, we're just gonna chill with that man i know some people are probably triggered but yo justice for bluegill i just want to take this time again to thank each and every one of you guys for all the support thank you for watching these next couple of videos are gonna be really fun too uploads should start picking up again winter is almost over man we almost made it through but yeah all right again thank you guys so much again for all the support let's keep this rolling man thank you guys for watching see you next video